Hello there, viewers. Welcome back to Boston Boys, the me dot Spenchy FM. And wouldn't it be exciting if we signed Alexis Sanchez? Well, we did. And you've missed it. Now, I'll be honest, we, we didn't have him for a long period of time, um, but we did sign Alexis Sanchez uh, in the spell in which you've missed me, essentially. You can see there then, one goal in his five league appearances, also got a goal in the cup as well, and uh, things were going drastically wrong here at Boston, so we needed a, sh I guess I thought it would be a shot in the arm, and Alexis Sanchez was just that. I did try and talk him out of retirement, but apparently he wants to retire, so he's done that now. And I don't mind saying that this, then, was the start of our season. The one win we had against Norwich was our only success, of course. Last time we met was the Walsall game, and after that, things didn't get much better. 1-1 against Gillingham and Peterborough, a 2-1 defeat to Rochdale, and defeat to Bury in the Checker Show Trophy. That was it. That was the breaking point for me. And that is when we signed Alexis Sanchez, who featured in five of our next few games, uh, the first one of which was the 4-1 demolition of Luton, our second game of the season. You can see there, started, got a book in, got a 6.9. All right, that's not that impressive, but was a key part to the side. And if you can see there what we did with the system and the formation, well, things have changed around here. And I may well have gone after Vargas and Medell as well. And yes, Chilean players might be on the radar in this series for some reason. I've always had a relationship with Enzo Rocco. And for those that know the reference, good. So today, late Norian and QPR. And you can see that the impacts of, of Sanchez were really felt. 2-2 uh, two -two against South End, which suddenly looks quite good when you team it with a couple of wins either side. Beating Charlton. A 0-0 against Wrexham. Defeat to Stockport. Yeah, that will happen. And then a 1-0 uh, Alexis Sanchez penalty against Bristol Rovers. Fantastic scenes. Uh, still not very good in the Checker Trade Trophy, though. We're out of that competition and still have to play another game in it, which is annoying um to late let's say late in orient and qpr today then so that'll be quite fun and uh yeah team wise then we've um we've messed about a bit there is now a space because he's just retired uh, and i did rotate this out a little bit because cham won't play there uh what we've actually done is played david davis in that role recently and um it's gone quite well but we did rotate things uh, another addition to the side and this might be a surprise is uh is matthew martin only uses one t i'm suspicious of it um uh, but he's come in recently and played six games only can see the six which is a really improvement for me there were two clean sheets last year was on loan at chesterfield uh tottenham and for a little derby sorry I've, I've released him after some loan spells elsewhere we've brought him in and he's actually done really well i just wanted a new goalkeeper callum burton was making me very cross so you can see it there look sanchez retires um it's at the very bottom of his resume uh, in september 2025 he joined boston making five league appearances and scoring one goal he was to you viewers he was a ghost the thumbnail gave, gave that impression i hope manchester united icon alexis sanchez that um yeah, okay. They did win the league with him, so uh, fair enough. And it's about 10 years later, unless they've decided it's time to win the league again, which you've got to respect, haven't you? So then that leaves us in the not particularly good 16th position we do have a game in hand so that's a positive i guess and lincoln our lincolnshire rivals are doing very well 26 points for them it's their season apparently warsaw who were so good last year are not very good this year they have completely collapsed and uh, some of the sides that were up there last year continue to be there and hopefully we'll get ourselves amongst them 17 points six points off the playoffs not too bad but four points off the relegation zone today could be quite important we play in a couple of days though late in orient outside just below us so a game that we have to win and uh, qpr as well just below us too so two sides that we don't want to get dragged into that conversation but if we don't beat both of them we absolutely will do as i say two uh two days to go before that game i wanted to show you where sanchez retired and uh yeah i'll see you in a moment for the match also with the new lineup and everything it means Marky fletcher has actually come back into the side and scored a couple of goals i just realized viewers quite not long into this i'm not really framed very well am i sorry about this everyone's thinking why is he so much shorter than before there we go look that's better now i feel like i'm part of this video I can only apologize for that that is entirely my fault now with alexis sanchez coming in uh, i actually dropped allison or allenson uh for a few games and uh, i think it's time to bring him back in that deep lying forward role which he does quite like we're going to a 4-3-3 uh for those that played fm 18 last year's game this was quite powerful this year it's not as powerful but i'm still using it anyway as a as a sign of panic uh yeah hansen's going to come in as well on that right side instead of bigger manner and the team then is going to be martin in goal let's all welcome martin give him a little clap welcome to the team david thomas continues at right back nelson and Hulls uh will be at center back uh leaf davis will play our left back uh gibson david davis johansson uh in the middle three leary allison and uh fletcher up top look what a what a trio what a front three and um finally some options i know we talked about last season not playing alabusu as much and chris stevens but we didn't win for ages and i panicked and this has worked a little bit uh you'll also notice that in possession 
We have no ta we have no strategy. We just have the ball, and I let them do whatever they want in transition. We are only counter attacking and out of uh, out of possession. We've got quite a high line, a uh, high line of engagement, trying to press with our three forwards. I've basically viewed back to basics could have been today's episode, but we had Alexis Sanchez, and he was a ghost. So you know. So yeah, we've we've gone proper basic. I think I was ever complicating things. When people often say to me if I'm streaming or whatever, I've got this tactic, it's not working, what do you recommend? I always say, you're overcomplicating it, you've got too many instructions. If you go back and watch the last videos, you'll see we had a lot of instructions. So I'm just look, we're keeping things sim simple. We're in League One, okay, come on. We're not battling European elite managers here. We're Frank Lampard managers in this division, he was at Oldham. And our big club would never have him in charge because of his inexperience. Okay then, here we go. Tom, uh, Thomas heads clear, but the first bit of action is the uh, the beautiful pink kit, it must be said, of Leighton Orient. And um, of course, a side that are just below us in the table, we're hoping to uh, to best them today and hopefully have an opportunity to rise up the league table throughout the season. We have three forward attackers as Leary's ball towards Mikey Fletcher. For those that are observant, you'll notice this kind of suits itself as a diamond sometimes. We've got that midfielder in the centre that plays a little deeper and the forward who drops in a little bit. So while I'm not using a diamond, we've kind of gone to that a little bit. It, it's kind of diamondy. If you pause it there, you can kind of see, well, well, it's a sort of a diamond. Lovely ball over the top of the way. Allenson's in, the, the pivot of the diamond. Oh my goodness me, he scored a goal. We're only two minutes in as well. Grant's in the goals, fourth of the season for him, back in the side after being ousted for Alexis Sanchez. Uh, clearly he's seen Sanchez, hopefully he learnt a thing or two, and goal scoring might be one of those things. Races forward, we did have Mikey Fletcher offside, but uh, we played on, good officiating, it must be said, and 1-0 to the good already. We're on fire, we're back, here we go. Go. It's a free kick though to Leighton Orient, played in, Gibson's going to get there, you can see Marky Fletcher ready, waiting and raring to go and gets the ball at his feet, options in the centre if you can find them, picks out Leary, oh what a finish, back across the goalkeeper, seven and a half minutes gone, Andrew Leary, his fourth goal of the season, Marky Fletcher in the assist, it's Boston 2, Leighton Orient, nil, I got, I got confused there, you can see great first touch from Marky Fletcher in his green boots, he loves those, uh, plays it back across and uh, what a finish from Leary that is, goodness me, we saw Chris Stevens do something similar last episode and then we we didn't it didn't go well uh, so hopefully it continues to go well we were don dominating a lot of games uh, last matches we played but we weren't winning them the whole run we had where it was getting frustrating there was a few draws in there some stupid defeats defeats in which we would take the lead and then just fall behind and it was very very frustrating so um yeah i've taken it as a back to basics taken all the instructions away and we can tweak it as we go along we now don't need to sort of just force instructions upon a team that clearly aren't capable of following those instructions anyway as we get towards half time boston 2 uh Leighton orient nil and if we stay with this we'll go into the top half we'll be looking good we'll be confident going into our next game as well against qpr and uh, the team talk at half time has gone stupendously well and i really don't use the word stupendously enough you know i don't think I, none of us do do we just face it just say it to yourself now stupendously oh Oh, stupendously. Or just stupendous. Either, both are great. Or just stupid. I mean, maybe you're looking at me get this is stupid. All right, another chance uh, for someone, perhaps, as uh, it's going to be Orient to get themselves back on the ball. Delicious through ball, that was. It really was. And Martin proves why he's been a mainstay in this side ever since he's come in. Callum Burton has, um, he's been, I would say, relegated to the bench for now. And Martin's come in. And look. Who cares about clean sheets as long as we win games? It's 2 1. Don't pick up your goalkeeper, Ben, even if he has made a save. Just because they always let you down. This is football manager. He's always going to let you down. Headed across, unmarked at the back post. Not really his fault. We've just got players on the, on the posts that are acting like posts. So that's good. All right, we're still balanced. Instruction wise, to say we're quite simple, so we don't really need to change too much. Uh, personnel might be the difference, though. I'm looking at Bigger Manor, maybe thinking about bringing him on as we've got a throw in deep in our own half. David Davis, who's proven to be, he's coming to this side and he's done great things for me. I notice he's on a booking. This is probably where he gets sent off, so that's going to be enjoyable. Uh, Gibson, though, back to Johansson. And there's three forwards up front. Like you can see there, Marky Fletcher getting into the channels. Two in the middle to aim for at all times now. Cleared away. Johansson back on it, though. Can he get a strike? No, he can't. Davis gets it to Gibson and we're going to just keep the ball hopefully quite calmly David Davis that's what he's there for doing a wonderful job in the midfield Johansson now out to this side Thomas his delivery is not known for being expert and that wasn't quite good enough and oh goodness me I thought this was going to be our highlight how wrong was I they're racing forward someone put a challenge in and stop him Molyneux now plays it across this is their big opportunity to do something plays it back across again fantastic news welcome to the series viewers this is what it's like I hate it 2-2 two, two. we're at home we're going to we're going to play slightly more positively and um, Big Green Manor's going to come on for Gibson. Big Green Manor himself, not really fit for this, but loves a long-range strike. So we'll see how he does. That's not the greatest pass either. Can we have a little bit of control here? 75 minutes gone. This may well be a highlight 
after the uh, the goal, by the way. So you never know. Oh, okay. Well, we do know now. It was looking so good, wasn't it, viewers? Everyone's spirits were high. You could see it in me. I was I was loving life. As uh, time ticks away, one change I've been doing is Chris Stevens comes on for Leary on this side. We keep everything exactly the same. We just have a little bit more width with him on this left-hand side. Time ticking away, though. Five minutes by the time. And what looked like a certain victory. Hold the phone. A late corner. Allison's there. No, never mind. It's over. 2-2. Two, two. As I say, what looked like a certain victory, top 10 was the aim. We've drawn it 2-2. Two, two. Calmly say, I'm, I'm far from pleased. And they, they're, they're fired up. Great. Let's see if they can prove that in a game in a couple of days against QPR. How have we... Oh, never mind. After the season I've had, a 2-2 two, two draw isn't terrible. But um, the circumstances there, not ideal. We do have a game in hand on a lot of these sides. So win that, 21 points, we would be ninth. So let's just win the game in hand whenever that is. It could be this Tuesday. It could be. It could be the Tuesday. Is it the Tuesday? That's just no. It's not. Everyone plays. So there's no. We'll never know when it is. It's a mystery. We've got a game somewhere. For some reason, we've got a game in hand. I think it was international related. I did postpone one. It's now all making sense. Uh, Dion Myers, the fullback, he's leaving. I know you're all gutted about it, but come on. Sometimes you've got to let me make the decisions. The Green Manor gets a year extension. Uh, he's played five games, and I think he's still okay. Like, so, look, those arrows don't make it look so good. But if you if you do it without the arrows, he looks all right still. You know, still a solid midfield. Fielder. The arrows are very misleading viewers. They can like, if I had an arrow next to my name, you think I was a terrible manager. That that can be arranged. Alright, why are you do why are you doing this? We've not seen you for weeks. Literally weeks. You did a little bit of voiceover and now you're starting putting arrows on the screen. The next thing I'll be managing. You're not doing a very good job at that, are you? Oh, I see. Someone's getting a little bit cocky. You're not involved, all right? You just you simply you, you press the buttons on the editing software. That's all you're good for. If if you insult me again, I'll just edit it all. I'll just just mute you for the whole thing. I never win these, do I? I know because because you've got ultimate control. I'm just busy, all right. If you could just back off, I'll back off. But if you need me, happy to be involved. We've got the first round of FA Cup draw. Do you want to do the home teams or the away teams? Actually, I really like to. Well, tough. You're not going to get to the side. We're drawing all of them. See, I've put that in to make it look good. Do the draw. And uh, there we are then. Wrexham at home. Yes. The big draw. The big money tie. That's what we wanted. It's what we wanted, viewers. It's hot recently, isn't it? It's warm. We're not enjoying it. If you're from Britain, you think you want this. And then you get it and you ate it. You just All you do is go, oh, this is horrible. I'm too hot. My private area is overloading with just heat. It's awful, isn't it? It's not good. Anyway, QPR to come. So let's focus on that. And it's not hot, is it? It's muggy. That's the worst bit now. We had a really hot moment and now it's just like muggy everywhere. You walk outside, <laughs> mug. That's usually what people are shouting from across the street. But anyway, let's get involved with the game. Uh, a couple of players struggling for fitness. Johansson's one of those. Uh, Bigamy Mana is the obvious choice to come in. Oh, oh actually, Connor Kirby. I'm going to I'm gonna bring him in. He plays occasionally and when he does play, we seem to play better. So we'll give that a go. Away at QPR, uh, in terms of instructions, we're going to keep it exactly the same. I'm going to make our line a little deeper and bring our line of engagement a little deeper as well. Um, I'm not as worried about preventing short goal kick distribution and our pressing intensity is going to become a more standard rhythm. I don't want us to be too put out of position. I probably shouldn't be playing Gibson. We'll carry on. Martin Thomas, Nelson House, uh, Davis, Gibson, Davis, Kirby, Fletcher, Allenson, Leary. Let's see how we do. They've got James Wilson up front, Carlton Morris. They've got all sorts of players that I actually know. I mean, two. There's two players there that I know. All sorts of players, he says. Like, it's about six of them. I know two of them. All right, then. Let's see how we do. Away at home. Away at home. Well, then. Work that out. It's very hot, viewers. Let's just put it down to that, shall we? Anyway, games begin. Problem is, if we don't win this game, uh, there is a chance, looking at the league table, that we can fall into the relegation zone. They will leapfrog us as they go close. And uh, if results don't go our way at all, this could be a slippy, slidey event. I started today talking about how many points we were off the promotion spots or the playoff positions. Well, hmm. How times change with two goals to late Orient or late Orient, which is actually what they're called. All right, Marky Fletcher, he's involved, finds Kirby, and the first action of the game, 17 minutes gone. It's not the start I'm worried about. I expect us to go 3-0 up. I just expect us to throw it away afterwards, as uh, that attack was looking quite promising. Gibson wins it back, though. Kirby now, with a chance from distance, goes for goal, but it doesn't find the net. 20 minutes gone. It's QPR nil, Boston nil at Loftus Road in London. It's only 13 degrees here. Oh. The, the dream. Gibson, Gibson really shouldn't have died. This is a mistake on my part. I noticed that Pigree Manor, not even on the bench. Fletcher, 
on it. Can we find a goal? Come on, Kirby now. Gibson from distance. Leary. So many players who should be able to score are on the pitch. It's got to happen for us. To the back post. Mikey Fletcher's going to have to recycle this. Finds Nelson, who's pushed up there for no reason at all. Kirby now. Back out to Nelson, who's come up from centre-back. I'm not confident. I don't like this. I don't know. He's just lingering up here. What happens if they break? What happens if they... I don't want to find out. We're finding out, viewers. This is what happens when they break. I didn't want to find out. There's only two of them, though. So, I mean, we should be able to deal with that. And we do. Panic over. Everything's fine. What's going on? Kirby's launched it nowhere. This is panic. Oh, now I've seen this before. This is a butt post cross goal. Yep. Good. Oh, viewers. Shambolic. Shambolic. It all came up because Nelson thought he'd be Stephen Kulka and just play up front for a bit. No one's told him to. No one's made him a striker, but he just thought he'd fancy a go at it. Now, there's a highlight just before half time. This is the opportunity for us to level things at half time, put their, their team talk into disrepute. Or give them a chance to get a second. I mean, what is... Uh, so poor in midfield. They're forward again. Jones this time to Trigus, which looks like a, just two names collided and, and have formed a new name. Jones now, ball to the back post. Carlton Morris is there. So the two names that I know, Wilson and Morris, both on the score sheet. Isn't it lovely being me, viewers? Isn't this great? 2-0 down. Now, last time this was the scoreline, it, it was really painful for me. Let's hope it changes now. What's annoying, and it should be obvious, what is annoying is that I've played this system, right? We've not had a shot on target there. I've played the system in, in all these games at the 3-1, or sorry, the 1-0 against uh, against Bristol Rovers, a doddle. 3-1 against Charlton, played it there as well, doddle. And now, this is what we're watching. We're watching a draw against Lake Norian and a defeat to QPR. And I don't like it, viewers. I, I didn't sign up for this. 18th. The 18th. Well, they, might, they might start the manager, so. Uh, sorry, team talk at half-time. Right, well, it's obviously not going well. Uh, the the three striker thing in this particular game has gone to utter very quickly. So, a um, couple of changes, I think. Leary not playing well, so Chris Stevens is going to come on, and um, Gibson also not having a particularly good game. So Alabusi is going to come on. We're going to put two of them out wide in such a fashion. We've still got the ball winner in there, Mazzala with Kirby. Um, so that looks all right to me actually. So we'll just stay as we are. We've got uh, Allenson supportive, so we'll have Stevens attacking, and it should be okay. Let's let's just live in hope here, viewers. Let's just live in hope. I'm going to get very aggressive with them. Expect to see a much better showing in this half. Thought they were fired up after the last game. Clear that war off. We're going to go slightly more positive. And uh, we are going to try and uh, get players down the wing, overlapping with defenders, uh, pushing forward a little more, hopefully overloading their full backs and creating more opportunities to get the ball into the middle to the two strikers that I expect to score some goals today. First highlight of the half, and it's a penalty to QPR. <sighs> it's a penalty to QPR. Well, Martin's very good at these, so he's already saved one for me since he's joined the club. And, um, well, he does it again in my brain. We enjoy watching the struggle, Ben. This is part of the... This is the best bit. Is it? Is it really? Because it feels like I'm getting screwed over big time. Davis is having a terrible game. So, uh, Duke is going to come on. Who's not really ready for this level of football. But I'd rather play him and not have to look at the other guy's face for now. Free kick. Kirby. Sensational. I'm losing the will to live, viewers. I'm losing the will to live. <sighs> Another highlight. I mean, where QPR have been scintillating this season, by the way. How many games have they won so far? Just out of curiosity, if anything. Uh, four, same as ours. This is their fifth fifth win, if it carries on like this. Marky Fletcher's gone through on goal. Cool. Test the keeper. I mean, that's something to be proud of when he's in a one-on-one -on -one situation. For God's sake. Time ticking away. Um, I need Alexis Sanchez back. That's what's clear to me. He was the key to everything. If there's not a Chilean in this side, it's basically game over. That's all I can. That's all I can. I can figure out. That's that's the only issue we've had this whole se this whole couple of seasons. No Chileans, no goals, no wins. Right then, uh, QPR three, Boston nil. It's getting fun, this isn't it? Every episode, it's just the right. It's, it's like that Groundhog Day is what it is. Like, what are the options there? Putting the result aside, that was a pleasing performance. What? Never, never. Why is it an option? Aggressively say I'm not happy. Like, obviously say that. We should be having a board meeting. If Again, the board are not doing their job correctly. Because this is shockingly bad. We're going to be in the relegation zone very soon or in the playoffs. Next episode, one or the other. There's no chance. Oh, no, we're not, though, are we? We're going to be 12th and it's going to be welcome back, viewers. We're still mid-table. All right, the next, uh, next set of games, I think Lincoln and Wigan are probably the best options. Start of December. So, uh, yeah, I'll play through November. That'll probably go superbly well and then um yeah i'll see you for that one then we're on a little slippy slope here we'll see what happens next time uh hopefully i will have signed gary Medell. would have had him for three weeks and he'll have pissed off so if you enjoyed today's video please do leave a like if you want to see some more. 
subscribe to the channel. I don't know if that bit made you laugh, but it made me laugh. Right, I'll see you again soon. 5pm tomorrow. Look after yourselves. That's more important. This is just a football manager save at the end of the day. It's not going to ruin my whole day much. Bye, everyone. Oh, dear.